Stop number 20 brings us to Pocono Raceway for the running of the Mr. Excitement 500. And in case you're wondering, yes, I named this race after Jimmy Spencer. Should we say Mr. Excitement or Mr. Crintail, whichever. On the pole for the race, Connor Breton alongside of him, Alexander Dawson, row two. Adam Chambers and Matthew Rodriguez. Or excuse me, Ashley Sears, I should say, is alongside Adam Chambers. Ashley Sears starts fourth. Matthew Rodriguez is outside of row three. Alongside Ann Batson, who's inside of row three. And row four is Dalton Day and Keith Batson. So husband and wife are both in the top ten. The wife starts ahead of the husband. Pocono sometimes he can be a wreck fest here, but let's see what happens. Connor Brayton has the late has the pole. And here we go at Pocono for the Mr. Excitement 500. Connor Brayton leads him down. They tend to fan out at this point in the front stretch. 3,740 feet long. In the turn one, which is 14 acres of banking. Adam Chambers going three wide. Along with Matthew Rodriguez in the three car. Somebody's got a give going into turn number two. Let's see what happens there. Let's see what comes out up front. It is going to be Matthew Rodriguez having a lead, and he takes Ann Batson with him. And she may lead the first lap as Ann goes into second in the 99 car. So Matthew Rodriguez has the lead with Ann Batson, starting in, who started fifth in the second position right now. Wait, three wide? You couldn't, you can't do that at Pocono. Matthew Rodriguez has a win this year that came at um, Las Vegas, and we may have trouble there through the. Yeah, we do. Alexander Dawson is around. Let's check and see what happened to Alexander Dawson here. We saw him go around. What's well, surprising, that was only a one-car spin. You see, he's in the middle of the sandwich between Connor Breton and Johnny Gardner in the 24. Yeah, and oh yeah, Alexander Dawson gets together with the 20 of Connor Breton. Well, not really a two-car crash. Jack, Jack Richards in the 60 got a piece of it. Tim Frolic hard on the brakes there. Trey Campbell gets into the 24. Racer DSM in the 29. Or in this. Other than that, though, Alexander Dawson is the to be the only spinner in this whole bunch. Let's ride along with Alexander Dawson. From the onboard camera of the 39. You heard Alexander kind of over revving the motor. Board for Jeremy Doobie's car. So pace car picks up picks him up. Alexander or Matthew Rodriguez has the lead with Ann Batson running second. Adam Chambers in the third position right now. Major skid marks on the track at Pocono on the Alexander Dawson spin. Tim Gardner right now runs in fifth position. Six is Johnny Gardner, Tim's big brother. Jacob Rodriguez, Jeremy Doobie running seventh. Pace car lights are off right now. Connor Breton eighth. Ashley Sears running ninth, and Jeremy and Dalton Day in tenth position right now. So the yeah, pace car's lights are still on. Now they're off. 
It'll be lap 7 to 10 when we get this race back underway here at Pocono. So it'll be Matthew Rodriguez who will lead him down. And the green flag waves here. We are back underway at Pocono. Four laps to go. We are just past the halfway point in this 10 lap shootout. Johnny Gardner goes to the inside. Trying to gain some position. So too does the four of Adam Chambers. Who goes inside of Ann Batson in the 99 car. And they go three wide and oh and Adam Chambers has put Ann Batson into the wall. Oh my gosh. There we go. Here we go. And Batson, I suppose, is not going to like that out of Adam Chambers. He just blatantly puts her into the wall. Whew. That got ugly for sure. Right in front of the entire pack of cars. They were three wide with her, Adam Chambers, and Tim Gardner. Tim esca escapes this crash. Far Chase is going to be a good view of this. Now watch this. This is Adam Chambers on the four. He's on the inside of Ann Batson. Adam goes up the track. Yeah, just, just blatantly shoves Ann Batson hard into the wall. Adam gets into it too, but he drives away. A hit and run. There. 33 car. Jacob Rodriguez gets into it. Paige Johnson up in the air. Eric Matthews. John Douglas. Ryan Cooper. Everybody in this. Nowhere for everybody to go. And let's go on board with Ann Batson. She was running second. A hard luck for Miss Ann. She was following Jake Matthew Rodriguez, who had who led the one race back to the line. Listen to this. Apparently, Ann could not get the car started. I'd say not with the hood all crumpled up. 42 of Paige Johnson got an interesting view, too. I think she got airborne. Let's ride with Paige. Paige Johnson, Paige Johnson was right in the middle of this whole catastrophe. And here it is from the helicopter view. This may tell the story. I don't think we're going to get the race back underway, so it looks like Matthew Rodriguez is going to be the winner of the Mr. Excitement 500. Look how look how, look how the cars are strewn all over the track. And they're on oh, and John Douglas, he goes way down the inside. We didn't see that. Uh John Douglas. This ought to be a fun view from his inside his car. Let's ride with John Douglas. Well, he just gets sent to the infield. Doesn't hit nothing. A little bit of damage to his car, but... Unfortunately, 
That was dire straits. And there's Matthew Rodriguez. He won race back to the line over Tim Gardner. And I think that's how your race is going to end, too. And so that means Matthew Rodriguez has won the Mr. Excitement 500 at Pocono, the Jimmy Spencer race. And boy, was it ever. <laughs> and there it is. Matthew Rodriguez, the car number three, wins this race here at Pocono. Second win for Matthew Rodriguez and his... Third, I believe, in the Cash Logic Dex Cup Series. Tim Gardner finishes in second position. Third to Jeremy Doobie. A good run for him. Johnny Gardner fourth. Emily Johnson, Paige's sister, finishes fifth. Dalton Day sixth. Connor Breton seventh. Adam Chambers finishes eighth. And I say, and I say Ann Batson may have some words for him, too. Uh, Alex Filter ninth. And Jack Richards tenth. Tim Frolic eleventh. Keith Batson twelfth. There's the rest of the order there. Hayden Klein, Stephanie Naylor, another good one for her in 14th. Robbie Boggess, Keon Shaw, Ralph Green, Matt Richards, Dougie Shears, and Jake Cole. Josh Osborne in 21st position. Ashley Sears dropped way back. She was like 9th and dropped all the way down to 27th. She's not going to like that at all. And look at this bottom running right there. 28th on down, the attrition rate. So, boy, it's just great, just ugly season for a lot of the drivers here. But Matthew Rodriguez, he has pulled it off at Pocono Raceway. The Dale Earnhardt car looks good in victory lane, doesn't it? He has done it here today at Pocono. Here's the points how they are right now going into the Brickyard 400. Mike Becker still leads by six points now over Charles Jackson. Dougie Shears, Josh Osborne in fourth position now. Dalton Day, Keith Batson, Andrew Dawson, Dylan Poteet, Ryan Cooper, and Hayden Klein, the top ten. There's the rest of the top 20 right there. And Batson 21st. Emily Johnson 22nd right now in the points. And there's how the rest of them right now. Aaron Reed, 25th in the points right now. John Douglas, 29th. He didn't need that. Crash at Pocono. Adam Chambers and Trey Campbell, both of them horrible seasons. Next race on the tour will be the Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis. Expect this to be a wreck fest, too.